There is a high demand for housing in the Philly suburbs, but the builders just aren't developing here. And the question is why? Here's an article from the Philadelphia Inquirer. It talks about 80s, 90s, and early 2000s seeing a housing boom in the Philly suburbs. You know, Chester, Montgomery, Delaware, there was a lot of new builds. The builders were continually developing housing here. But then uh, the tension shifted to the city of Philadelphia during the tax abatement uh, um, going away period. And now the question is, why aren't the builders still building in the suburbs? So one of the reasons they cite is the anti-development sentiment. It appears that the locals, a 27 year resident of Downing Town here, uh, and I've had these conversations with many local folks, were we're sort of anti-development, right? We want local housing uh, that is affordable, but at the same time, we don't want our open lands to be taken away. We don't want, you know, um, warehouses in our backyards. So one such situation was the Credibly Farms and Toll Brothers, where Toll Brothers lost, and now that land is gonna be preserved, which is great. We do want open preserved land, but that means there's not gonna be enough housing. And if there isn't enough housing, the supply demand situation never gets set and, you know, the housing prices keep getting higher and higher and higher. And the controversy regarding the Lionville Station uh, Road and, you know, the Happy Days Farm and the other farm where they might be building warehouses. And the question is, we don't want trucks and we don't want that pollution. But, you know, with development comes, you know, the need for jobs. So share with me your thoughts. I'd love to know what you think, you know, comment below, feel free to pick up the phone and call me. I'd love to understand what my friends, my realtor friends, people who are looking for homes and the locals, how do you, you know, deal with this dilemma of wanting affordable housing and yet opposing development?